Thank you, President. President, the Commissioner referred to the Council's deadline of the end of 2014, uh, and the internal energy market is a key priority uh, in the Commission's Energy 2020 strategy and in the Roadmap 2050. Earlier this year, the Commission sent reasoned opinions to 17 member states for failure to implement the third energy package. I'd like to ask when the Commission in intends to bring forward infringement uh, proceedings. And if the third package is about unbundling supply from transmission, will there be a fourth package on physical interconnection of the internal energy market? Would the Commission at least guarantee that most million foreseen for energy schemes in the Europe facility, if we get it, will be spent on electricity interconnection rather than on gas pipeline investments to the benefit of companies who made a combined profit of $180 billion last year. Commissioner. Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson, infrastructure is part of the internal market. Now, there are certain member states that only have one access point and depend on just one supply and simply have no choice. So, we'd like all 27, soon 28 uh, uh, member states be fully integrated in the market. And the Connecting Europe facility uh, with uh, substantial amounts over seven years is the instrument to achieve that. Now, you're right. The multiplicity of infrastructure must be funded by the market and through energy prices. You're, you're right on that. Having a, you don't need co-funding to have a, a grid go from Rotterdam to Cologne. However, if you want to connect Malta with Sicily and Italy, M the need in Malta is, is, is too low to allow for European co-funding or take equally an energy ter terminal in a country in the, in the Baltic or the integration of Cyprus into network that, 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 that's where co-funding would be sensible now four years ago we, met, we received for the four billion as a crisis for the European Parliament we co-funded 60 pr projects and today we can inform you that 10 to 50 percent co-funding which we wouldn't have seen until a whole later in the day. We will submit our set of priorities to Parliament and identify projects which are of shared European interests. In other words, more, more than one member state. And then you will decide whether you want these projects. And in the Council, we seem to be on the right track with the, with the, the Connecting Euro facility, particularly for energy. Thank you. There is a follow-up, Mr. Watson. Yes. Thank you, President. I'm, I'm grateful to the Commissioner for his answer and his recognition that it's only through interconnection that the market can properly work. Of course, it also creates jobs in the European Union because we are the major, if not the only, manufacturers of high-voltage direct current cables which are needed for such interconnection. But would the Commissioner agree that it's, in a sense, crazy that we are spending millions of euros on solar power in Germany and Belgium and the United Kingdom and very little in southern Europe where there is actually rather more sunlight and therefore will we or can we expect the Commission to come forward with a Europe-wide renewables support scheme so that we can do exactly what he was talking about connect Malta and Italy with all of the potential that they have for the generation of electricity from renewable energy. Commissioner. Um, Honourable Member, you, you, we have a, the, you, I'm sure you've read our communication on renewable energies from earlier this year. We think that the national systems for uh, launching renewable energies, uh, solar energy, uh, wind energy, we think that these national initiatives were important but now it's a question of more European harmonization of these support rules. Unfortunately the member states 
haven't used existing possibilities. I'll give you an example. We've, we've made efforts with the Greek government so that the Helios project can be got going again. That means photovoltaic energy and solar parks in Greece, and which, which could benefit other member states as well. So other member states, when it comes to their, uh, it would help them achieve their 20% uh, the of, uh, of renewables. So. I don't think we can have 27 different support instruments anymore. We've got to make this a European system. How, how some, unfortunately, some member states, when it comes to their support legislation, their subsidy legislation for, for renewables, we some, sometimes stop them rather abruptly or actually reverse them. And so the, 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 we haven't built the, the, uh, the predictability uh, confidence. That upsets investors. There's no predictability for their planning. Those who are investing need to know what the, the support system, the subsidy system is going to be over the next few years. The, 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 this uh, confidence has been shaken in some member states over the last couple of years.